Well, this is one excited kitten. You know, I got excited earlier this week. I was driving in my car, thinking about Serenity, and said, I think I know the origin of Shepard Book! And, and not, not the, the silly one that, that, that's in the comic, because the comic one is, is silly. So, today in our Naked blog, thanks to uh, the always lovely and, and uh, recently married Trisha Hirschberger, congratulations, uh, we were talking about what gets you excited, because she's very excited to be a, a newlywed, and this little bundle of fur here is Gizmo. Gizmo is one of six animals, three of which are spoken for, three of which are still up for adoption, and you know you've always wanted a kitten named Gizmo, or you know someone who's always wanted a kitten named Gizmo. Trisha, be honest here, you want a kitten named Gizmo and a dog named Egon. Seriously, like a golden Labrador named Egon? You know you want that. Anyway, so if you do need a kitten and you live in the Los Angeles area, uh, leave me a message, would you? I'm trying to find homes for these little fellows. But I gotta take care of them for a little while longer because they're, they're still on milk. Anyway, uh, the last time I was truly excited was about a month ago. I met an art dealer. And he thought he might want to put some of my work in his gallery. So I got very excited before I haven't received word from him in a month. And, uh, yeah. So I was excited then. And then, well, there was another time I was excited. I was at Cal State Fullerton and taking a class on screenwriting. And the screenwriting teacher said he would send my work to a uh, production house. That, that never happened, and I'm being clawed to death by a kitten. And, and then there was another time uh, at Cal State Fullerton. I was, I was in the playwriting class and thought there was a possibility that my work might get on stage before I was told that I had to write um, politically-minded pornography that followed the views of the teacher, which is illegal, by the way. Oh, and yes, uh, I, was, I was excited once when I was in another writing class and people found my work to be truly, truly interesting. So, you might think that writing is what excites me. Well, it's, it's hope. The hope that I might, you know, actually be able to make a proper living. It's that whole hope thing. In the modern economy, few of us have hope. And this kitten is, is apparently hungry because I think he's looking for milk. So, there's the thing, you know, if you're going to get excited, get excited about changes in your life that are for the better, like, of course, a marriage, although, let's face it, Trisha and her husband have been an item for some time, and I think they've even been living together, so, now you're, you're just making it official, which, I mean, good on you, good on you. I don't think it would excite me to, to make something that I'm already doing official, but, okay. I mean, you know, what are you going to do? So that's that thing. Hope is something I get excited for. I don't even get excited for the new Star Wars trailer. I mean, that doesn't excite me anymore. Look, after they rolled out the Jar Jar, I... <laughs> Look, I mean, I just can't get excited for Star Wars. The I never saw Episode Three. That's how unexcited I am for Star Wars. I just, I just can't care anymore. And I remember there was one time my next door, or my cross the street neighbor, he brings over uh, this fellow by the name of Brian, who is apparently some kind of an athlete, and he says, "Where'd you go? I wanted you to meet my nephew Brian. He's going to be in the Super Bowl." And I said, "Yes, that's." It's baseball? Is that what it is? Baseball? Is that the Super Bowl? 
I mean, I, I guess I could care less, but not by much. I know it's football, but I just don't care. I don't watch football. Not a big thing with me. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I get excited uh, sometimes when I hear about science. Science excites me. But then, you know, let's face it, science is... It's why I'm talking to you now, I guess, or how I'm talking to you now, I guess, but... But not all that great. Incidentally, if you do want to hear my, my thoughts on Shepard Book, I, I did make a video about that. So just, you know, go to my YouTube channel and uh, uh, look for that. It's the previous video to this one. Oh, and yeah, you know, if you have the time, do check out Trisha's channel because she's hot. She talks about technology and does naked blogs like this on, on things we care about. But she doesn't have a kitten like me. You know you want a kitten named Gizmo. Right, Gizmo? Gizmo, do you want a kitten named Gizmo? Oh, kitty kisses. You give me nice big kitty kisses. Yes, you do. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. There is nothing unmanly about liking kittens. Kitty butt.